Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to part four of my Duskers weekly challenge run for week 37. Yeah, last time we uh, we plowed through a whole bunch of uh, bunch more ships. I mean, four of them, plus an auto trader. Found some mildly useful stuff in the auto trader, but nothing utterly spectacular. But we also got eyes on the rest of the galaxy, and we uh, made a little bit more ground. So, yeah, here is where we are at at this point. We made it into the Belton system, and we, um, from the auto trader down there, we borrowed a uh, long range scanner and got the last two star systems in the galaxy on the uh, on the galaxy map and then we went and did this business and this business and this business so I think what we're actually going to do is jump back to Pinsaria. We're, we're at 10 jump fuel at this point. We've got plenty of fuel. So we jump back and do this and then jump back to Velton and clear that out and then it's just these last two to do. So yeah. So first up will be the Ticino, Government B. Uh, one thing that's a little bit sad is that I um, I failed to notice before boarding the Discovery that the first ship slot was breaking, and even though I didn't use the transporter at all, once, uh, once it starts breaking, it's just rolling dice, and the dice did not come down, you know, in my favor so the slot broke so we're down to one so we're looking for for a new ride I mean I don't like the Justice Rider I think it's a dumb name so I always am looking for a new ride but now it's now it's become a little bit more imperative so yeah the Ticino one thing I'm I'm starting to be mildly concerned with too is that there's a lot of not very big ships. That's mainly what's left. I mean, there's a couple of barges in the uh, in the exit system, I think, and a couple of other things. But um, you know, we might we might not find that many more drones. Is is what is starting to concern me. So we'll have to we'll just have to see how that plays. But onward to the Chino. I think I just caught a glimpse that said that this was a prisoner transport ship. Okay. Not sure that that matters, but, um... Actually... That is a bigger starting room. I don't know why we're going directly back there. It's not where I wanted you to go, but... Um, and unknown infestation types again. Just about every, every ship that we've been seeing that had unknown infestation types has turned out to have two. See what else we can get on the schematic. It's government B, so yeah, it's gonna be just another couple of rooms basically. That's fine. Fine, fine.
on, it's a slime room. Okay. Four, eight, three. Actually, we're gonna go over here. Haley, you can just park in here and be slime bait. We actually got a spawn. Awesome. Better to try and listen from up there. Okay, it doesn't sound like swarm. What about that box is annoying? So I'm betting there's a second infestation. Okay. Hopefully, Swarm is not an infestation type here. That's an awkward door. Sorry to think that maybe slime is the only thing. Oh, interesting. Nice. And there is some jump fuel. Good, good. Okay, we don't need that room anymore, I don't think. No, we totally don't. So.
And if it respawned in here, at least it didn't respawn on top of the airlock, so that's good. Just transport that out of there. Yeah. Don't know what it was, but we'll find out now. A oh, remote power and a relatively intact one. That's nice. And now we have the Reese. The Reese is sort of an interesting one because the Reese at the end of last episode was um, starting to bug out because this is the ship that is um, tied to the, uh, the jump gate. But right now, I mean, at the end of last part, it was very much wanting to be a jump gate, but right now it has turned back into being a, uh, a vessel that we can visit. And I'm, I'm pleased with that. I actually might want to commandeer it, and that might totally, totally break things. But uh, let's, if it's going to let us visit it, I think, I think we've got to do it. So, yeah. All right, and hopefully maybe we find a drone on here, too. This may have, like, hideously bad consequences when I'm trying to, trying to finish up the run. I have no idea. I don't know that I've ever inadvertently commandeered the ship that is tagged to the jump gate before, but... Okay, that's a worthless generator. That powers exactly two rooms, it looks like. So. Maybe we won't be depending on ship defenses here. Hi there. Or maybe we will. Five head slime. Okay. I don't have a scan. Who? All right. Yeah, this actually kind of like the looks of this ship. two ship upgrade slots.
<laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I wonder how much fuel it has. Might only have five. I'm not sure that matters with how much jump fuel we have. We can easily jump back and forth between systems without much pain or difficulty. Okay. second spawn in there. Or a, or a first spawn in there, actually, because that was the starting room. that it's another transporter okay we're, we're we've got a whole bunch of them then and it's seven yeah this may very well break the uh, the jumping out because we want the Reese the Reese is good but it didn't break the game now so that's that's happy at least and we have cleared out Ponceria or Ponceria, I suppose, if you prefer. What was that called again? Right, the Reese. Okay. So then I suppose the next thing to do is to meander back to Velton and clear out those last two. So let us just go and do that. conserving our prop fuel that way too which is nice so space station d with ooh with three infestations right i remember when i was doing my initial survey i noticed that there were some like that but space station d is tiny we have transporter though we should install the transporter and oh uh, should i even install the remote power because if if i install the remote power i'll be so tempted to use it and um the one that I found last week, I used up so damn quickly, and it would have been so much more useful and handy in the um, towards the end of the run with the outposts and things like that. Well, there will certainly be the transporter, and just in case, just in case. Yeah, but that'll do. But again, we're not finding drones. Which might wind up being troublesome. Well, we certainly have a swarm. So that's nice. Swarm in a tiny little room. It's probably not at all happy being confined in.
And lo and behold. Okay. So, yeah. And that's our 3A4. So. Yeah, I have that right. Come on. Yeah, awesome. So, Doc A2. Okay, we might have missed a uh, bit of a slime timer there, but it doesn't look like it. we got punished for it, so that's nice. I know this is causing wear and tear, but... Really? Well, screw you then, little guy. I assure you, this form isn't in there anymore. Ah. Okay. So none of it is slime for once. That's nice. Okay, you didn't want to come fully in, that's fine. Suppose you don't have to. Ooh, clock is ticking now. Crap. Okay. Easy enough to take care of, really, all things considered. Goodbye. But I gotta believe that that, uh, that room is clear. Especially because we don't have any other rooms that have a uh, transporter signal. And there should always be at least two, yes. So get some scrap out of it. And we find our fuel. 
which I'm still overjoyed with, even though it doesn't really matter so much on this run. It was just very stressful last time. So, okay. Done. Turret and the toe broke, so we need to build a new toe. Yeah, it's Space Station D. I don't think I'm going to bother with making a new tow because there's a bunch of shops in the last two uh, the last two systems. I think between them there's four. Maybe it's just three, but maybe I can stop in at one of those and just pick up a tow rather than um, having to build one from scratch because they're expensive to build from scratch. Yeah, but uh, the Worthel. Okay, Worthel. Here we come. Now, what else broke up? Oh, right, it was the other turret. So. Yeah, and there won't be any uh, ship upgrades here. I would be so pissed though if there if there is a drone. Okay. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Ooh, the probe is breaking too. Yikes. Pay attention. Maybe we just don't use any of that stuff this time. It's not like these ever have tons of loot on them anyway. More jump fuel. Pretty much just what we want. Yeah. Then to R5A4. What D six? Bye bye. still have a ship scan. That would be amusing. No. Servo, which is not at all amusing. Okay. Two scrap, two jump fuel. Yeah, I don't think it would have been much more than that anyway. It would be f far worse if we lose our probe entirely. So... But note to self, do some damn repairs. Okay, so we are done. Ooh. Here's a thought, though. If we clear out the auto trader entirely, Yeah, we won't, we won't have to come back here at all, and I think that's worthwhile. So, so much for our, well, a little bit of our prop fuel. But, yeah.
Why not? Actually, that works out perfectly because that is exactly the price of two. Oh, shit. That's exactly the price of two jump fuel, and I just ran into my scrap capacity, and so I lost a bunch of that. Fuck. Yeah, I should probably stop now. That's that's what what the universe is telling me. But um, well, cleared it out anyway, and um, I guess Corey is going to be with us for the long haul, so we'll heal her up. Repair the probe while it's still relatively cheap to do so, and a little bit pissed at myself about that. But uh, yeah, yeah. There is one shop here, and then in the in the ending system, there's a bunch of stuff, including the uh, jump gate, which is now appearing as, does it appear as the Justice, it appears as the Justice Rider now, okay, that's funny, huh, I wonder if I'll ever be able to jump through that, or if it's just horribly, horribly broken now, might have to find a workaround, I hope not, though, we didn't have to do it last week, but yeah, actually, I think we're going here next time. Because this is going to take a bunch of time to clear out. It's going to take two trips. So if we start here, and then we jump to Owain, and then we jump back, we should be done. So probably another two or three parts would be my guess. But anyway, that is all for me for now. Thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I hope you'll stick around and... Uh, and keep watching the upcoming parts, and I hope you're enjoying them. Again, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.